What are your thoughts on video games? Okay, I get asked this all the time. My thoughts on video games, hear me, okay? I've answered this a million times, are the same as my thoughts on television, on movies, on Netflix, okay? Is it an addiction? If it's an addiction, you need to stop. When I got saved, it was an addiction. I was, I could, I could easily play when I got saved World of Warcraft for 12 hours. Easy, without even thinking about it. It was an addiction, it was a distraction. So God said, get rid of it. So I broke all of my Xbox games. I broke my Xbox, I got rid of everything. I deleted all my games and I went cold turkey because it was an addiction for me. Some of you, you can casually get on and play for 30 minutes or an hour as a way of entertainment, just like you watch a movie. Okay, so that's fine. But if you're eight hours, 12 hours, guys, if your wife is like crying every night because you won't get off of Call of Duty and you're with, you're with the boys, like, let me just say, you're 35. When you were 16, you should have been with the boys. You're 35, you have three kids, your wife's exhausted. She's cooking, she's cleaning, she's feeding them, she's doing everything, and you got your feet up with the boys, dropping it on Call of Duty, trying to level up your new weapon. And I'm like, no, no, that's unhealthy. So yeah, I get it, you get home, just like you'd watch sports an hour. Okay, cool. But don't let it be eight hours an addiction. Um, and then also ask yourself, what is the content? What is the content? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe getting headshots with the boys is not, is not super healthy. Maybe blowing people's heads off virtually is not like super biblical. I don't know. Maybe putting spells on people. I don't know. Maybe some of these games, maybe they're just not healthy for me. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Maybe I shouldn't be playing these games, like these horror games where I'm blowing heads off of zombies. I don't know if that's good for my mental health to be blowing zombies up all the time for hours and conjuring spells and riding a broom around the new Harry Potter. I just, I just don't know. So you need to use discretion. You need to use conviction the same way you do with television, with movies, with music, same thing. Okay, that's my stance on video games. The eyes that went into my soul, what am I letting in? Because some of you are playing some wild stuff out here, conjuring up some weird stuff, especially when it comes to VR. Some of you are doing some weird stuff with that headset on, with those goggles on. Like, I don't know. It's weird. You're over there sh doing some weird stuff, shooting people, stabbing people in VR. That's a whole nother level. You have people out here like doing some weird stuff. I don't want to go into it because there's kids watching, but you guys, you need to take the headset off. Okay, you need to, you shouldn't be in VR with a gun acting like you're stabbing, shooting, and doing all this weird stuff and choking people and pulling them up and using magic spells on them. It's just weird. It's weird. I saw some of it on TikTok. I don't like it. You guys need to be careful with all that. So video games, content, addiction. If it's an addiction, stop. If the content's bad, you need to pray and get some conviction.